Hey everyone, Trancher down here. I hope you're doing well today and I want to thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. So just very, very quickly, um, tonight I'm actually in London. Uh, I'm here to do a bit of filming and just this evening I just got back up to my hotel room and I spent the uh, evening talking like a bit of a YouTube meet and greet which I did all over my social media and spent most of the time talking to Ed Francis who's the hypnotherapist. There'll be a link to his website in the description. Uh, he kind of focuses on uh, curing arachnophobia and things. And tomorrow I, I'm going to be doing a video on going to London Zoo with my camera. I'm meeting up with Frankus Lee. Uh, there'll be a link to his channel in the description of this uh, in the description of this video. And yeah, I'm going to be vlogging it and hopefully getting some pretty good stuff. So if you aren't already subscribed, please do hit the little bell icon as well so that you know my future uploads. Because uh, I've got loads, loads of really cool things going on in the pipeline for me and on this channel that I think you will enjoy. So, with that said, um, here on my channel, so primarily I of course do all of my animal videos which I love. I have a great collection and I'm very lucky to own such amazing animals and have viewers that enjoy the content that I produce. But I want to do different things as well and one of the ways, the things I want to do, which I'll speak about probably in a few weeks when I give you a big update on things going on. Um, I want to work on, I guess, kind of the education and the fear side of uh, sort of invertebrates and tranches. So every now and again, I'm trying to, I'm always thinking of ways to try and get new people into the hobby or at least for people to not be so scared of creeper crawlers. Yeah, I don't want people to be scared of creeper crawlers and I'm trying to think of ways to maybe uh, to allow people to see them in a different light. So obviously a few weeks ago I did the Amazon Spiders World product which I kind of did and I, I will be using that for more videos, um, spiders and other invertebrates but probably it will be in the spring because it's winter and things are getting comfortable and I don't want to be disturbing them. So uh, something that I did think would be uh, quite a lot of fun is this. Uh, this You've probably heard of these, if you haven't. This is called Top Trumps. Uh, it is a card game, and this one is, uh, it's a Bugs variant. Now there is a picture of a tarantula on the front, and so I thought I would kind of show you this, and hopefully you will like it. So, it is new and sealed. It's still in the, the wrap. Probably a pretty cool little box. And this is great if you, if you do, sorry my phone is going off, uh, if you do have children. This is a cheap gift, um, I can't remember how much I paid for it, I will put it up on screen how much I paid. I bought it for Amazon, uh, I do have a affiliate link so if you click on the link in the description and you buy these cards I will actually make a bit of money off that which helps me and my channel. These are great for if you've got young children, car journeys or you travel around or just want to get them off their, their video games, really good fun way. And the reason I thought about sort of showing you this and giving a kind of a quick review of it is I thought some people do not like the look of sort of bugs and creeper crawlies and tranches and things. So I thought that if I showed you guys these and you had a look at them, there might be some maybe some, some creepies in here, shall we say, that you might like. And of course, most things you could probably buy from the spider shop so I just thought it'd be fun for you if you like spiders and if you don't like spiders it might kind of get you over your, your dislike of them I don't know so I'm gonna open it up anyway very similar to open place that down there and I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer we'll have a look at them and yeah go from there a very quick um, middle filler, I guess, before I continue with the cards. So my phone went, and uh, a minute ago, obviously in the video you, saw, you, you would have heard it. And while moving the camera, I thought I'd better go and check, and I realised that one of the reasons I met Ed was that he bought me some uh, some false widow eggs. I don't actually know how many are in here, but let me have a look. Yeah, there's probably, ooh, I don't know, 30 or so false widow eggs in there and uh, we left them on the table in the uh, in the bar so I had to run down to the bar and say do you have this little container and 
the guy who cleaned, they'd actually put them in the, put them in the bin. Like they had to get the bin out and uh, they didn't ask me what was inside them, thankfully. But uh, yeah, that was kind of close. And to Ed Francis, uh, again, thank you very much for these. I will take good care of them, I promise. Uh, with that said, let's continue on with the video. So uh, I'll put those down there safely and I shall not forget them. Okay then, so here's a look at the Top Trumps and Bugs cards. I'm gonna keep, make sure I keep them on screen. I'm going to sort of show you uh, a little bit about them. It tells you there how to play. It's pretty simple. So make your own cards. And here you go. So there's a list of different bugs. So you've got flies, damselfly, black widow, spiders, giant leopard moth, mosquito. Swallowtail caterpillar, swallowtail butterfly, a dung beetle, earthworm, two spotted spider mite, dragonfly, tarantula, that's a top trump. I presume that means it's probably uh, quite quite good. Ant, let's check that out for a second. Ant, scorpion, stag beetle, cockroach. Stick insect, wasp, firefly, praying mantis, leech, ladybird, bumblebee, a wolf spider, grasshopper, wood louse, termite, lunar moth, shield bug, and millipede. And it says here collect five, um, four or three packed in collectors. That's pretty good. You buy five, you get on free. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. So, how would you play this? Um, I'm gonna say it's a very simple game. On each of the cards, you get different themed ones. This is got a, um, I'd say probably a bracket farmer, or Morny, the um, Mexican, uh, previously the Beast Mythic. And you have these, so it says here, lifespan in days, 12,700, rarity four, mobility 83, gross out 38, and danger eight. You've got a thing there that shows you the size, and then there's a fact file. Um, it says there that the Goliath birdie to tarantula is the largest spider in the world and can grow to the size of a, of a dinner plate. I'm not sure why they have the description of a Goliath birdie with a Bracky Palmer. Uh, they probably should have had a actual Goliath birdie to picture, but that's I'm not going to pick faults with this. <laughs> so the way it works is you have a hand each. Uh, if I just pick, I'll just go with the millipede. Uh, you got the two hands, two people playing. And you ask, when well you look at yours, obviously with this one, you could look uh, and you go for the highest number. So if I had the millipede card, I would say, okay, then uh, the lifespan 800, that's pretty good. But then obviously if you've got this card, the uh, lifespan is obviously much better. So this card wins and you get that card. And so obviously then when it comes down to, um, let's try, There you go, say so this one, the termite. Uh, if I've got the tarantula, the Goliath bird eater with the picture of Bracky Pelmer, and I say mobility, well, this one's 90. So then that card would then be lost at that hand. So, yeah, it's, it's a very simple kind of game, but you can genuinely lose quite a lot of time playing it. And I thought it'd be good because it shows you different, different bugs and arachnids and kind of uh, insects and things. You look at these, and you can. You know, Google them, you know, it actually tells you what they are. So yeah, it kind of tells you a little bit about them and may prompt you to do some research on them. I just thought it was pretty cool. I mean, the Black Widow, it says here that they live for 1,800 days, 4 in mobility, 18 mobility, 31 gross out, danger 9, very dangerous spiders. Um, They put a mosquito above that at a 10. Butterflies, one. So not very dangerous. I don't know. I just saw this and I thought, you know what? It's a pretty cool pack of cards. It's got some pretty pictures. And if you like bugs and if you have children again, you know, they might enjoy it. If I was a child, I would, I would have loved something like that. But uh, that, of course, is, is just me. So... If you would like to get some of these, I mean, you can feel free to Google them yourself. Uh, so there is a link in the description. 
of which should you buy them um, I will kind of make money off of them I'm making that very clear now but you don't have to of course um, they do other top drums um, so have a look around and of course as I said at the beginning I'm working on lots of things I'm trying to do I'm trying to cover ways of getting people interested in keeping these animals and so I kind of figured that toys and games might be a way for me to go forward with that especially for younger people that might be interested in keeping kind of uh, books and insects and things so with that said I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, let me know what you think in the comments below whether you enjoyed this or not if you did then great uh, if not I'm sorry you didn't and still please stay tuned I have lots of feeding videos molting rehousing breeding videos and in general lots of really cool updates that I really think that you will like so uh, yeah thank you for watching everyone take care and I'll see you soon in the next video